Good evening, um, RH Simulation member. So today's video, we are going to execute an RNAV uh, approach onto runway 02 in um, Lisboa Airport. So, as you can see on my FMC, let's go to the other one. I just configured the approach phase and uh, I just. Uh, activated so we have a barrel our barrel reference is 611 and we are going configuration 3 for landing so right now we are descending to flight level correction to altitude 4000 feet let's put the QNH 1019er as discussed in the performance page and let's go for uh, flaps one. So flaps one uh, speed is checked, twenty nautical miles. And here we have the approach. So we are arriving to a uh, PSX, which is the intermediate fix as specified in the charts and then we will follow a heading of 25 uh, 025 so we will we are supposed to be at 160 knots until 4 uh, nautical miles so we are actually approaching the flaps 2 selected speed so let's go flaps 2 speed checked descending to basics uh, so what we are going to do it's an LPV um, which is a localizer performance with vertical guidance so since we are an Airbus A320 we are category 3 so the barrel reference is uh, 611 feet That sounds good. So we are we are approaching to PSX. We should be at 180 as maximum. So let's go and select. Uh, let's go and select 170 for the moment. Our airplane is accelerating since uh, we just selected flaps two. So we should go from manage speed to select mode speed in order to tell the aircraft that you should follow uh, the speed selected on the MCP uh, so in the flight uh, mode annunciators or annunciations as you can see it on the primary flight display we have 170 knots in blue and then we will follow basically our IFR charts the arrival from GPSN and from PSX we should, uh, sorry, at NEDVO we should be at max 160 uh, until the display, from the displaced threshold, since the runway it has a displaced threshold, which is an extra line, I will show you in a moment. So here you have the runway uh, 02 it has a small displaced threshold you will see it if I'm not mistaken for sure and then let's go back to the approach so until four miles from the displaced threshold of runway 02 so that sounds good we are over uh, PSX the intermediate fix so right now actually we should be fully configured not fully configured correction we should start our configuration as published by EASA so let's up put the now the airplane is going to follow the approach since we are the uh, an, an RMP approach or RNAV sorry actually the vertical guidance it goes very quick so let's help a little bit with the speed brake because we are following the vertical guidance since we are an LPV 
So we have localized performance with the vertical guidance. Later on on the video, we will talk more about uh, about this kind of approaches. We have we are half deflection, so let's go to 160 knots. As they say, it's the maximum speed that we should follow. And let's release the speed brake to arm the back again. So we are actually eight, let's say eight nautical miles more or less from the runway. Look at the beautiful approach onto Lisbon, the famous bridge. Okay, and my speed is increasing, but not not that much. So we have our final approach speed, and we will wait until uh, four nautical miles. So actually, what I'm going to do is to extend the landing gear until five nautical miles. So we have the radio altitude alive, two thousand uh, right now, three hundred, and the radio altimeter just set two thousand five hundred. We should double check if uh, the indications are good or or not. So, uh, for the moment, everything looks good. Let's continue the approach. So, this is prohibited. Uh, okay. Let's continue. So, we are five miles final gear down. Lights on and we have small deviation here from the lock. So now four miles from this place threshold speed mode managed speed checked flaps three before landing checklist, I can memo landing no blue. Let's go manually. Autopilot's off and we have runway inside. So actually I'm going to perform it visually. So this activates FD and and go for the bird. So correcting. So we have uh, left crosswind. Let's continue the approach. I'm going to put actually 139 here on my MCDU. It goes very quick, very quick. Look, look at the descent here. So you should not keep or let the aircraft descending that much quickly since we are on the ground near the ground so maybe you will get uh, some uh, uh, downdrafts so continue runway inside we are fully visually okay now 10 knots of left crosswind we can see it the wind is pushing us to the right Idle, stick to the left and opposite rather, muy quickly, <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> and okay, speed brake, spoilers, reverses green, diesel. Now the wind shift actually from left crosswind to Headwind more or less 16 knots manual braking and let's take this one. So as you can see, the Arnav approach are uh, are a little bit um, sensitive, uh, but at certain moment you should. We, we went visual visually since we had the runway inside. Okay, so let's clean clean up the aircraft. 
Tick us off. Wind chip reductive radar off. Flaps up. Speed brake is on. Landing lights on. Off. And let's start the APU. Stop auto. And the runway turn off light, it goes. Correction, the nose light, it goes to taxi. And we stop the chrono for both sides. After landing checklist, let's get our paper. So, uh, after landing checklist, radar, radar and predictive wind shear is off after landing checklist completed. Is completed. So, I hope you liked the video and uh, see you very soon on another video. Thanks for uh, watching. Ciao, ciao.